Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're doing well today. It is a beautiful Sunday afternoon, near perfect weather. It's about 20 degrees Celsius. I'm actually out exploring an area I've been to once before. It's about 90 minutes away from Ottawa where I live. So it's really in a, I'm gonna say more rural part of the area. And I've come out here for a few reasons. The first reason, I'll get into right now, is I'm out here to do some scouting, some location scouting for potential good photographic opportunities. So like I've been here once before and I understand the area a bit, but it's been a couple years since I've been here. So I really, given the fact that traveling right now is a little hard, decided to come out and see if I can uh, find some uh, nice locations out here. So this is actually a potential uh, shot here. So I'll just, now the sun's just come in, which kind of takes away from it, change the exposure. But basically what you see here is a bit of a leading line framed by a couple of trees uh, with the rock. And if I actually get in the proper spot with another big tree up here. So I think this could be a potential nice wide angle shot. As you kind of saw, the uh, sun came in. Uh, so the so there's clouds in the sky and the clouds passed and the sun just shone right in here. So it's not a good shot at the moment. Uh, however, uh, this is a potential location shot here. So whether I get to that today or not, I put that in my mind for later. So uh, let's let's continue here on the on the hike and the exploration. So exploration and see what else awaits us. I'm only actually about uh, 20, 25 minutes into the hike. And what I don't like about this area is potential photo opportunities. Uh, so I'm looking at this these two trees here. Got some very interesting character to them. Uh, I'm not going to take a photograph here at the moment, but once again, just making a mental note, uh, which also allows me to, for next time I come, whether I want to do the full loop or just come up uh, into this area and then back out. All things to consider. So let's keep looking and see what else we can find. So reason number two why I'm out here in uh, this particular area is because I really want to get out for a nice good hike for my, my own mental health. Um, it's I think it's after 12 weeks now, after the original lockdown. We are allowed out here, that's, that's fine. I'm following all the rules. In fact, this trail was closed till about two weeks ago. Now, the reason why I picked this trail, uh, obviously I mentioned a little earlier, was about photo scouting, um, you know, for future potential uh, locations. Even though I've been here before, it's it's been a while. Uh, but as well, it's just so peaceful. It is at 90 minutes outside the city of Ottawa. It is a relatively new trail, and it's one that really people don't either know about or because of the distance don't come to. And it's outside the city center, so there's really not uh, there's a couple towns around here but not nothing too too large so I'm the, actually the only one out here and so right now I'm just relaxing um, I've made myself some dinner here because it's about 5 5 15 right now so I'm gonna chow down uh, no I won't uh, uh, <laughs> I, I won't uh, make you go through me eating uh, eating my uh, dinner here but it is uh, a mac and cheese uh, um, I think it's a Mountain House um, brand, uh, yeah, Mountain House brand uh, craft dinner. Haven't had it before. I'm <laughs> excited to try it. Uh, but so, anyways, that's what I'm doing right now. Is I am just relaxing. Uh, you know, I got the drone up. Uh, so there's a spot, uh, you know, a lake uh, 
just down the way uh, where the, this footage is from. Uh, I'm not going to go down there today, but it's, you know, as I mentioned a little earlier, it's about location scouting. Uh, so now that I've got a bird's eye view of what it might be, at some point I'll have to figure out how to, how to get down there. But right now I'm going to, my dinner uh, is almost ready, so I'm going to do that now. So, <laughs> well, we'll get, anyways, I'm going to eat. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Still sitting here enjoying my dinner. I just got up for a quick uh, stretch. And I noticed this spot. I actually flew over this area with the drone. But I think come fall, uh, just the way this area is laid out, might make for an interesting composition. Now, the sun is behind me. I'll have to think about whether this is a sunrise or sunset location. But all to say is, always keep your eye open for interesting potential compositions and this is definitely one I think later this fall. So I've just uh, finished up my dinner here uh, so I'm getting back underway. Still a long uh, hike ahead to finish the loop because I'm really just on the, the first quarter of it. Now I'm definitely going to have to come back here. Uh, I think there's a great opportunity for some woodland photography up here. As you can kind of see some really nice trees and wooded areas, but not overly forested with a lot of undergrowth. Um, so I think this has a lot of potential. So I keep it in the back of my mind. Uh, what's nice is very terrain and um, pretty much no one's up here. Now, somebody actually just passed me on the trail, so uh, there are people that do come here. Like I say, it's not, a, it's not the more popular trails. So speaking of trail, I've got to find the blue marker and it's up there. There is just something about this place up here, just the, the very terrain that is different than the uh, area just right around Ottawa. So like there's definitely some potential compositions. Now I think this would be a lot better in the fall. Now, the reason why I say I think it'd be better in the fall is just the, the type of trees we have here. Uh, now, I still might come up here again, uh, just, you know, this, this time of year before fall hits. One to actually get some more uh, specific compositions. And there, the sun is out. She is bright. Uh, clouds are occasionally covering the sun. But I think here, if I even just come up here, and it's the first part of the trail, uh, would be a great spot. Now, the reason why I'm not stopping and just doing that right now is, is I want to actually do the full loop. As I mentioned a little earlier, reason number two uh, for me being up here is mental health and wellness and fitness. With all the craziness going on in the world right now, just being up here, So much more relaxing, just so much more relaxing, except for the bugs. I think I need to put on some more bug spray, but anyways, other than that, still very relaxing. Now, I will admit, uh, when I come out for hikes uh, and photo hikes or this, this type of uh, scouting as well, uh, I have to be mindful is, because when I just go out for hikes, oh, sorry, I have a bug that's trying to bite my elbow. elbow. Uh, when I go out for hikes, I like to book it. I like to, and it's not for a stroll. I like to really go really fast and get some really good exercise in at the same time. But when I'm looking for photo locations and subjects, especially in woodlands, you can't just go blaring right by. So I am trying to slow down. It is a challenge for me. It is something I'm working on. Uh, and I tell you right now, there's a really nice breeze just rolling through. I'm not sure if that's picking up on the mic or not, but yeah, it helps keeps the bucks away too. But uh, let's keep strolling and rolling through uh, the woods and see if I come along Little Red Riding Hood or uh, or nice uh, nice subject. I'm at another location here. This is actually just along the trail. It's hard to tell, but the trail does wind through here. But you got these, uh, I believe, are ferns and this tree. And what is nice in this location is you really don't get much of the sky depending on how you're shooting it. 
Now, the sun is up there, so there's no sun hitting or light hitting this way. So this area might be a little better um, early in the morning, uh, getting some uh, directional light coming across from the side. But right now, the scene is pretty flat here, so I'm just going to move on. Once again, another mental note for later. I just quickly want to walk you through here. Uh, I took a couple of quick shots. Um, nothing definitely that's portfolio worthy, but potential compositions. Now, given the light, I did not set up my tripod. But basically, I took a few images around this tree, both uh, horizontal and vertical. And as you can see right now, there's, and now this is more light than it was when I took the shots, but some directional light because uh, the sun is setting to the left and it's coming down here. So I do think there's some potential. Now, obviously, as most woodland photographers would say, if I had some mist, yes, mist or some atmosphere would really add to the photo. But I like here, there's potential some layers. It's not too cluttered. So once again, another potential option here. So I kind of just really want to walk you through. So my goal here is really just to walk you through my thought process as I'm kind of going through, uh, trying to find uh, some compositions and subjects to photograph. Uh, so this is, this is a great possibility right now. Uh, I'm going to move on. You know what? Speaking of moving on, uh, it's not too bad, but my hair is getting really thick. So for those that have uh, followed me, normally my hair is, hair is much shorter. Uh, I'll link you to uh, a video or a playlist where you can see that. Uh, obviously, some other great videos. Uh, but yeah, it's been at least 12 weeks, if not longer, since I've had a haircut. And it, uh, I would love one right about now. And then, of course, what I'll loosely call a beard, that growth. Uh, anyways, I'm kind of enjoying... Uh, different routine here today as mentioned i took a few photos so i'm gonna quickly walk you through them this is probably my favorite photo of this particular location it's a nice horizontal image uh, i like the ethereal glow now i did do some editing uh, not just in lightroom but a little bit in photoshop now this is the one photo, now just a slightly different composition you will see here. Very similar, but still a, a very different uh, look. Uh, so this is what you can do by just simply walking around the tree. Now this photo here obviously is a portrait orientation. A lot of foreground, well I won't say interest, but a lot of foreground there uh, with uh, leaves from the last year where this is a little more intimate, a little closer, but you can still see it. But just a possibility of what you can do by simply walking around and changing your position. I just had to end up backtracking about 10, 15 minutes because I followed this trail. But what I didn't notice is the blue blaze is over here to the actual trail. So I'd followed this for a while, about 10, 15 minutes because at Walmart, and then I'm like, not seeing a blue blaze, as you can see here on the left. So I'm glad my spotty sense finally said, time to back up and find the trail, because I know I'm eventually supposed to go that way, but I was going more that way. So let's pick up the trail and let's get going. It's uh, 20 after seven, so about an hour before sunset. So I'm still hiking along the trail here, and I came upon this little scene here. Now, the composition I took is not the one we see the full video with the path, although that could potentially work, is what I did is I zoomed in kind of to about that. Now, it is still a little bit of harsh light. It's a little bit directional light on the side. So, but what I did was trying to do was get the, the three layers of trees. Now, I'm not staying here too long because I do have to make sure I get to the right spot of the trail before it's dark. And the other thing is, my bug spray is empty and the little buggers are eating. So the bugs did not actually get me there. Uh, unfortunately, my iPhone ran out of storage space. I will say, though, that I did regret running out of bug spray because the last kilometer of the hike out, which I did obviously not record, 
Uh, there was just wave after wave after wave of bugs as there was a lot of low-lying uh, areas which created a lot of puddles. So I do hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Uh, I will be back in this area in the fall. Uh, it is a beautiful, stunning area. So I'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, thanks very much. Time goes by, yeah.